opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The perk defense begins with d6, controlling the e5 square and preparing for nf6. d4 takes full control of the center and opens up the dark square bishop. nf6 develops the knight and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. nc3 defends the e4 pawn. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. This creates a threat to win a pawn. NBD7 develops the knight toward the center and supports the knight on f6 and the pawn on e5. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. Master Games it is the last book move. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. Right on target. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This moves the pawn to safety. It is excellent. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This challenges the opposing rook for control of the open file. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best recaptures. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This wins time by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. It is good. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is good. A solid choice. It is excellent. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This protects the attacked pawn. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only good move. 
it is best. This pins a knight, which restricts its mobility. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players.